<laughs> you see, sometimes you just have to clap a spirit just to get him out of your studio. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Nightmare Cinema Club. Hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in this world. Finally, my, fr my friends, we're covering my favorite movie. My favorite movie of all time. The Exorcist. Or as we say in South Africa, The Exorcist. The Exorcist. Directed by uh, William Friedkin, based on the book by William Blatty. Peter Blatty. Blatty, Black Blatty. And um, the story was loosely based. Uh, the original story is loosely based on a 13-year-old boy who got possessed in the 1940s somewhere. But it's, when I say loosely based, very loosely based. Um, but the book was already a great success by the time it came out. And by the time the movie rolled around, man, it had an impact on the movie world like you haven't seen. It came out in 1973. Uh, I remember reading somewhere that people saw this movie. They went back to see it four or five times while it was busy with its uh, theatrical run just a great movie guys now if you want to watch a scary movie this movie owns up to that title the scariest movie ever made because of the subject matter because of what it deals with what you're going to see on the screen don't expect gore don't expect jumps okay there's, there's a couple of jump scares but don't expect a horror movie like you've seen before this thing is psychologically scary trust me now um i mean it stars now we know that these actors name i mean back then 1973 ellen bernstein jason miller linda blair uh, even max von Sydow, they were quite unknown nowadays we know those names because of this one movie uh, linda blair gives us a great performance as the possessed reagan mcneil uh, uh, Ellen Bernstein, wow, I mean, her performance in this thing. I mean, if you know, if you go into the background of this movie, how this movie was shot, William Friedkin is kind of a maniac. I think he was like the Tarantino of the 70s. To, and just to give you an example, for if he wanted to get his actors riled up, Jason Miller especially, who plays Father Karras, if he wanted to get him riled up for a certain scene and get some some great performance out of him he would just shoot off a gun without letting them know you know filled with blanks and it's they would be you know amped up because again they had to have this atmosphere in the movie because of what it deals with it deals with demonic possession so um if you ever watch the exorcist on netflix the series where gina davis stars in I think you'll agree with me. It's okay, but it doesn't come close, close to what the original 1973 Exorcist did. And, and I mean, every other movie that ever came out after this, it doesn't come close, my friends. It doesn't come close. Well, the story starts off, we see Father Merrin, who's on an archaeological dig in Egypt somewhere. He gets uh, summoned by... Uh, one of the diggers to come and you know just look at something and he finds a little statue of Pazuzu now Pazuzu in mythology I think I can't remember was he a god or was he just a demon whatever he was but he he made a lot of trouble he was he was bad 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 and uh, and then we see that iconic scene where he turns around and he sees this huge statue of Pazuzu and it just signals that something is coming and something is gonna happen we, uh, we move on to Washington, where Chris McNeil is uh, starring in her own movie. She lives with her daughter, Reagan. Uh, very happy child, beautiful little child, 
12 year old girl and um, everything is happy and peachy you know it's very lucky but Chris has a little bit of a strange relationship with her ex-husband they've been separated for quite a while um, so there's a little bit of mm, there but aside from that everything is peachy um, until this one day when Chris realizes that Regan found a, a Ouija board in the basement and she played with it. I mean, again, oh, it's just a joke, it's fine. nothing, don't, don't play with stuff like that, it's dangerous. As we find out in this story. She uh, made contact with a, a spook, a spirit called Captain Howdy. Now that's not one of the most fearful names I've ever heard. I mean, I wouldn't get scared of a guy. Hi, I'm Captain Howdy. That, mm -mm. It's, um, it's not going to work. But, I mean, again, they don't really take this seriously. And then, well, we have two different storylines going on at one time. We have Chris and Reagan in Washington. Also in Washington, we have Father Karras, played by Jason Miller, who has his spiritual uh, crisis at the moment. His mother is sick and, you know, he's, he's, he has this very intense face, Jason Miller. He's such a great actor. Uh, so we have his storyline and then all of a sudden things start uh, going a little bit awry it starts off as little noises scratches voices in the house Chris can't really make sense of what's going on and she sees that Reagan is starting to act very weirdly now um, it's at first you know go to the doctor if something's wrong the doctors can't make head or heels what the hell is wrong with this girl this is why the movie was so infamous because there was stuff that you were seeing that they really do in real medical terms and stuff there was stuff that was really going on that upset people because how this poor girl was being uh, what's the word it's not operated on but experimented on to find trouble they thought it was with her mind something's wrong with her mind and um, it's 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 disturbing that's all i can say about this movie i don't want to spoil the movie for you guys i'm not going to give away too much you have to see this i mean it came out in 1973 guys come on we're in 2021 really there's there's been a lot of time that passed but anyway we later find out that uh, reagan is in need of an exorcism because she's been possessed by captain howdy now we find out later that it's actually pazuzu that uh possessed her guys she is frightening as hell this is oh, such a good movie i think i'm gonna watch it again today i watched it last night to prepare for this video but i'm, I'm probably gonna watch it again today uh, and then we go through this journey of trying to get uh, pazuzu out of uh, reagan reagan's body and i mean i made it i made fun of the last scene where you know spending hours and hours and hours of trying to get the spirit out the normal way just murder the thing you know just give it a slap and the spirit might go away but <laughs> well it did in the movie it did but uh guys please see this movie see the exorcist uh i'm not gonna spoil this for you you have to see it i gave you a little bit little bit of hints but one of the scariest films ever made fact my friends that's been my look back at the exorcist please uh, like share and subscribe and uh yeah drop me a comment down below let's talk about this i will see you guys in the next one take care and especially in this one my friends enjoy the fear see you soon friends